Too many people still don't know that it looks like a paradise here, but we're under threat, and we really need people to hear us out and work with us. They say our village might be underwater in a few years. Where are we going to live then? My name is Tregar Albonishoda, and I'm the ambassador of the Republic of the Marshall Islands to South Korea, based here in Seoul. One of the pressing challenges for the Marshall Islands, and indeed for all of the Pacific Islands, is the challenge of climate change. Mitigating impacts from climate change has been the number one survivability issue for the Pacific Islands and communities. Although we don't create much emissions uh, to the atmosphere, we are some of the most vulnerable countries and communities um, in the world. Uh, witnessing the rise of our ocean, the warming of our sea, the depletion of our natural resources from the ocean, um, <clears throat> and the loss of land. We hope uh, is one of the issues that we are able to raise and dialogue uh, with partners here in Seoul and across South Korea, uh, but also around the world. We are the Pacific Climate Warriors. Climate change is a direct threat. But we are not drowning. We are fighting. We are fighting. We are not drowning. We are fighting. As we gather here today, let us take a moment to reflect on a rallying crime that has echoed across the globe. We are not drowning. We are fighting. This powerful call represents our unwavering determination to stand resilient against the mighty tides of climate change. It symbolizes a united force of passionate souls ready to amplify our voices and drive real action for a sustainable future. We stand before you, not just as a speaker, but as one of you, a young student deeply passionate about climate action. Our generation holds a unique responsibility, for we are the guardians of the future the caretakers of this fragile planet that we call home. Today, we invite each of you to join us in this noble journey of transformation. Pacific Island nations, some of the most vulnerable communities, bear the brunt of its impacts. Rising sea levels devour their shores, extreme weather events shatter their livelihoods, and the scars of ecological disruptions run deep. These are not mere statistics, they are the stories of human suffering and environmental degradation. We hold the power to shape the shared future and must take action to create a better world for all. Climate change poses an existential threat to Pacific Island nations through its devastating consequences. The situation is dire and we ought to address it with urgency. To achieve this, we need collaboration and inclusivity at its core. Let us harness the power of diverse perspectives for the same numbers that we find inclusivity and strength in. By engaging with experts from all around the world to receive their valuable insights and forging strong partnerships with Pacific Island nations, we pull together our comprehensive knowledge to develop novel and state-of-the-art solutions. Um, so you're absolutely right that the application machine learning, broadly speaking, climate, hugely important areas of research, right? When we think about climate, there is the actual environment, there is, uh, re which relates to our how our food is produced, there is the weather and the ecological system, there is the way that we consume products, which sometimes the derivative of that is waste and waste uh, will have to be dealt with. Otherwise it will create additional pollution. Um, so there are many facets of thinking about climate and environment and it's ripe for uh, using machine learning in some ways to think about these problems differently or advance the solutions to these problems using, using machine learning AI. So climate change is a critical global challenge, especially for regions like Southeast Asia and the Pacific Islands. So what strategies do you suggest for effectively bringing innovative technology to these like climate affected nations? To require uh, a community uh, action, so for example, monitoring, for example, 
to ensure that a community as a whole uh, follow certain because if if, if, certain, if people cheat, right? Uh, so you can have technology to actually detect cheating, so called, right? But then there's a question of privacy now. You know, okay, so right. So if you have policy to say that uh, everybody has a freedom to do what they want, you cannot restrict them, you cannot monitor their behavior. Then it's very hard for the technology alone to work. So I believe that you know you need the biggest challenge now for climate change. It's simply that uh, there's no uh, kind of a political solutions between uh, agreement between the advanced Western country, which had benefited so much from from pollution in the past, and the developing country, to come to an agreement on action to be taken. Yeah. Uh, well, I think it's a great question, and the advice I always give to young people who are passionate about sustainability is. How can you integrate this into your everyday, make small steps uh, in your own personal behavior? We talked today about um, choosing more vegetables instead of more meat and things like that. And then also as you think about the opportunity for the work you want to do. Uh, if you love accounting, if you love maths, if you love English, writing, uh, how can you incorpor incorporate sustainability into those career choices? If you are ready to be part of the solution, join us in this journey of climate action. Together, we will explore innovative strategies, drive policy changes, and inspire communities to embrace sustainability. Your voice matters, your actions count, and your passion can spark change. In this endeavor, we need not stand alone. By spreading the word, by sharing the message, and by igniting the passion for climate action in others, we build a movement that will resonate across continents. Our fellow climate warriors, our journey may be long and the road may be challenging, but the reward will be a world where nature and humanity coexist harmoniously. It will be a world where we have triumphed over climate change, where the beauty and diversity of our planet are preserved for generations to come. So, let us unite for the climate and ignite the transformation our planet desperately needs. Together, we are not drowning, we are fighting. Together, we will create a sustainable future. The time is now and the future is in our hands. I hope there will be no more flaws in Singapore anymore. I think sustainability is important for the Pacific Islands because if we don't do our part, then the rising sea levels could be a real threat to these islands. Climate change is an existential crisis and we are out to address it with urgency by putting together our collective knowledge to solve this problem. Also, I'm living in Singapore, which is a tropical country. I feel like we've been hit pretty hard by the rising temperatures. So that's why I think it's very important to care for our Earth and like slow down global warming. Let's stand together, hand in hand, to combat climate change and to safeguard the Pacific Islands and their vibrant communities. Let's stand together to combat climate change. Every action we take, big or small, matters. I think it's very important to protect the environment for these islands. This empathetic video has not only shed light on the devastating impact of climate change, but also showed us the potential solutions that science and technology are able to provide us in these troubling times. Let's all stand together and take action today. Go Pascal! Go Pascal! Go Pascal! Go Pascal! Go Pascal. Go Pascal. Go Pascal.